Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve a set September 2019 question paper which was held a few days back. So let us begin with our question paper and in this section, we are going to start with the statistics portion with question number 21. So let us begin. So the question says the number of permutations of six letters chosen from a set of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J so that A, B and C are always chosen and they occur together is okay so we need to find the possible ways or say the number of permutations of six letters chosen okay so here you can see we have 10 letters given and we need to choose six out of them where a b and c has to be chosen always so basically out of seven remaining seven from d to j from out of these remaining seven we need to choose three out of seven because a, B and C, we need to choose all three of them out of three. So the remaining seven positions, uh, remaining seven letters, we need to choose three out of them. And here also one more condition is given that A, B, C, they will occur together. So in the permutation, A, B, C will always occur together. So what we can do is we can consider them as a single element. We will consider them A, B, C as a single element and move on with our uh, permutation. So first uh, what we need is we need to select 3 out of these 7. So for this what we can do is we can find the permutation 7p3 which is uh, basically nothing but we are choosing 3 digits or basically 3 letters from d to j out of these 7 for, uh, sorry from uh, d to j these 7 letters we need to choose any 3 of them and the remaining 3 are a b c. So uh, what we can do is first of all we have considered a b c as a single element so after a b c what we are remaining with we have three more positions because as you can see a b and c they have taken three positions and then we are selecting three more from this 7 p 3 so we are left with three more positions so basically what we can say is we have four digits or let's say four elements one two three and four in permutation if we uh, change the series or if we change their uh, randomly if we replace them so what we can do is we need to put a b c always together so this we will consider as one element and then we are remaining with other three so basically we have four different random uh, four different random elements we can shift so our total permutation will be 7 p 3 into 4 because there are four ways in which we can represent these four and then again we have 3 factorial and what is this 3 factorial for this 3 factorial is for this a b c we have nowhere said that these to be these has to be in this format only they can be in b a c or c a b or any other because here we have six options six ways of writing a b c together so which is 3 factorial is six only so this is the answer which is 7 p 3 into 4 into 3 factorial so this can also be written as so this will give us 7p3 means 7 factorial divided by 7 minus 3 factorial into 4 into 3 factorial. So here we have 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 4 into 3 factorial. 4 into 3 factorial is 4 factorial only. So here 4 factorial and 4 factorial gets cancelled. So we are left with 7 factorial. So our answer will be 7 factorial. Let's check the options. So in option D, you can see we have 7 factorial. So option D will be the correct answer to this question. Now moving on to the next question here, we have question number 22. So question 22 says, if there exist only 4 letters R, A, N, K in an English dictionary. So we are talking about English dictionary and we are considering that there are only 4 letters R, A, N and K. What will be the rank of the word rank in that dictionary? Okay, so here we have 4 letters R, A, N and K and one it, we need to find the rank of the word rank itself in that dictionary. So first of all we need to uh, check we need to put these four letters in alphabetical order because in English dictionary everything happens in alphabetical order. So we need to put these four letters in alphabetical order. So starting from very first letter which is A after that we have K then we have N and then we have R. So basically this is the alphabetical order in which these four letters will appear in English dictionary. So starting from A, the possible words are A, K, N, R. Then we have A, N, K, R and so on. We can put total here we have A is fixed and we need to change these three. So this can be done in uh, 
3 to the power uh, sorry this can be done in 3 factorial ways because we are uh, randomly putting 3 letters so this can be done in 3 factorial ways which is 6 uh, so letter words starting from A words starting from A will be 6 so there are 6 words starting from A similarly there are 6 words starting from K as well as there are 6 words starting from N so uh, coming up to word rank which starts with R itself so before rank obviously there are 6 6 and 6 18 words before rank and after R so R what are the possibilities of R so first word which starts with R can be R A then we have K and N because K appears before N in alphabetical order and after this we will have R K N K so here we have 18 letters 18 words 6 from A 6 from K and 6 from N so there are total 18 words before we start the dictionary with the R, word, R letter so after 18 words we have the 19th word which is R K R A K N and the 20th word will be R K R A N K so this is the 19th word and our required word which is R A N K will be the 20th word so the rank of the word rank itself in this English dictionary will be 20 so let us check the option so in option you can see A is the correct answer because A says 20 and that is the rank of the word rank in English dictionary if there are only four letters R, A, N and K. So here we have solved a few statistics questions. So in our further videos you will find more solutions to the ASET September 2019 question paper.